I once walked past a place called Royal Villa. So they named their own home <laughs> Royal Villa. <laughs> it was like a mansion and everything. If you're the one living at Royal Villa, I have nothing against you. But did you really have to name your own home? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> My name is Marion Carmel. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. See the way I see it constantly. Set the moon stop shining stars in the land. I do R&B, soul music. When we first moved to Singapore, we lived in the West Coast area, and then we moved to Hillview, and then Utra, and then Yunos, and then Kambangan. So we gradually went more towards the east. What I really like about it is like the shop houses and like the Katong area. It's always nice to just go, go and walk around because everything is so close together and it's just a lot of opportunities to like take pictures and admire the scenery. What's not there? What's not there? What's not there? What's, what's not there? Okay. <laughs> what's not to like? When I moved here when I was 11, it was like me turn, turning like into a teenager and it was my formative years. And I think when you're 11 here in Singapore, you're pretty much independent. So you go take the bus everywhere and, and all that sort of stuff. But in the Philippines, I never had the luxury of like going and taking public transport by myself because my parents were very protective and also because it's much less safe as compared to here. When my parents gave me the freedom of like Man, yeah, you can go wherever you want to go after school, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, where do I go? I have friends. We're going to McDonald's? <laughs> I remember like kind of growing into my own person at, at around like Dakota Crescent, Old Airport Road, that area. Sheesh. Yes, the place in general is quiet, but I actually accidentally rented a place that is right next to a construction area. I mean, I kind of knew this. I guess I should have been more careful. But when the agent told me that, oh yeah, they didn't stop at 5.30. No, they didn't. Sometimes they stop at 11. Sheesh. I, I can't record music in the day. And I have to set aside time on Sundays just to record like vocals when I'm not sleepy and like not staying up. And it's hell. But anyway, apart from the that thing, I am also neighbors to many, 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 many talented people. I've got Charlie, who is Dumu, David Xiao from My Life, to Eugene So from Bakers in Space. Being so close to all these people was so inspiring to me. It was like going over to your friend's place when you were a kid, but then now you get to make music. So it's like, hey, you wanna play? <laughs> but then, hey, you wanna play guitar? <laughs> And even if you don't want to make music, you just want to hang out. Like it's, it just makes songwriting even easier when it comes to it. Uh -huh.